Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on solving quadratics by factorising. So this is the third video on this topic. If you've not seen the first couple, I recommend you watch those first because uh, you'll get some context and some understanding as to what we're going to be doing here. So in this video, we'll be looking at sketching graphs from solving quadratic equations. So in this example, we have to use factorization to find the roots of x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0 and hence sketch the quadratic. So we'll start off by factorizing it. So we're looking for two numbers which multiply to give minus 3 and add together to give minus 2. So those numbers are going to be minus 3 and plus 1. So that's what's going to be in our brackets alongside x. So x minus 3, x plus 1 equals 0. So using what we've learned in the first couple of videos, as I say, you should watch those first if you haven't already. Uh, this is going to give us two expressions for x. So um, for this to equal 0, at least one of these brackets has to equal 0. So we could have x minus 3 equals 0, and therefore x equals 3. Or we could have x plus 1 equals 0, and therefore x equals minus 1. So these are our two solutions. Uh, so this is going to give us the two roots of the quadratic. So uh, what this means is this is where the uh, graph of y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3, this is where this graph crosses the x-axis. So let's mark on these points, x equals minus 1, that's here, uh, and x equals 3, that's here. So these are the two uh, roots of the equation, this is where it crosses uh, the x-axis. Then the other thing we have to note is where the graph crosses the y-axis. So this is when x equals 0, so if we set x equal to 0 uh, in this equation down here, then we're left with y equals minus 3. So you can check that by substituting in values of x equals 0. So you get 0 squared minus 0 minus 3. So that leaves us with y equals minus 3. So if we mark that on there, uh, these are the three points that we need to draw the graph. We're only sketching it here, so it doesn't have to be entirely accurate, but it does have to pass through these three points. So if you draw a graph, it should be shaped like this. Uh, so this is a decent enough sketch. Uh, just make sure it goes through each of the points. You may have to redraw it a couple of times uh, to make sure it does. So maybe I'll redraw it here uh, just to make sure we go through each of the points. Uh, but as long as it's got the correct shape and it passes through the points, uh, a sketch like that should be fine. So factorising quadratics is definitely a skill that needs some practice. So you can do that with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at all of which you'll get instant feedback on. So it's a really good way of keeping track of where you're going wrong, what your weaknesses are, and how you can improve for your actual exam. So if you're interested and you want to take the test, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.